<laughs> Yo, what's up guys, how we doing? I'm Hoff. I'm a singed one trick in Grandmaster. Today we're going to be reviewing one of our friends Samuel's games. Samuel was a singed one trick in Platinum 4. So we're going to try and watch his games, see how we can um, help him improve, give him some tips, try and get him out of Platinum and get him climbing the ranks. Let's get started. So we're in the game now guys, how we doing? This is Synergy Shen. The rune page that Samuel went for is above. Um, it's a pretty sta standard Conqueror rune set. I'm not, I'm not angry about this. You're against two melee top sides, so it's pretty decent to go Conqueror here. Um, and rune Baden, so. The only other option would be Phase Rush, I think, here. Because um, Shen's quite a hard lane to 1v1 usually, unless they make a misplay, so... Conqueror's aggressive option though, so I think, I think that's good here. Okay, and we've got First Blood, right? So you're thinking, First Blood Singed. Conqueror Singed as well, doesn't have any sums down. It's a great start. I mean, first problem here is we didn't go base after, after our kill. And I know that seems like something minor, but... You've got 420 gold. You had plenty of time there to go base and spend your gold. You could have easily got an amp toner boots or um or whatever there, and that, that would really help your lane. Especially when you're going ignite and conquer. You want to have as much of a lead as possible. Right, so level one against Shen. We're in lane first. Let's see what happens. We're sitting behind the wave. Run up and hit these minions. Pushing the wave, okay. Okay. Getting the kills nice. Do you know what I mean though? See if you had see if you'd went base for your item before you went to lane, you'd have gotten that kill so much easier. If you go base before there had an amp tone, you'd have you'd have killed him up here. Or even boots, you'd have got you'd have got to the kill quicker. The problem now is that um he has teleport. You've missed maybe like three, four minions here of XP. And I think he's gonna miss maybe just one or so. Yeah. Good to get first blood though. Let's see what you've bought. Eh, not first blood. So you've bought either West. I mean, I think the problem with going with going Shirelia's first here is that Shen is just going to build full tank, right? Um, either West is good for if you want to play with your fed team. If you want to play around your team, and if you want to try and gap close onto enemy top laner. You're not going to have to gap close into enemy top because it's Shen, you're both melee. Um, and without Leandris, you're going to do no damage to Shen at all. So even though you'll be ahead, even though you've got two kills, you're pretty much never going to have a kill window in Shen ever if you go Shirelios first. If you were sitting top lane against, against Shen, you were both level 6, zero, 0, and your Jinx was 5 and 0, and your mid was 4 and 0. Then yeah, Shirelias would be okay because you've got no kill pressure top, nothing's happening top, and you would you just want to play with your fed teammate. But right now you're the one with two kills. You're the one that got first blood. You're pretty much never gonna have kill pressure now. But let's look at this fight again then, because it went decent. Obviously, you got you got the kill, um, but it was a one for one. You run in, hit the backline minions. He gets his empowered, empowered autos on you. So what I would say, in fact, it's a hard one because you are going for the kill early. So there's big, or not big problems, but there's problems here, right? First one is that, um, if we go back a little bit. Okay, so first problem is that you're walking up here, which is fine, to hit the back minions and to try and hit Shen. When you're doing this here and you're hitting the back minions, you do not want to auto Shen. If you auto Shen, you get aggro from all six of his minions, and you're in the middle of the wave. 
So although you're getting an extra conqueror stack onto Shen, what happens is Look, you you've got all these casters hitting you, you've got two melees hitting you. So you've treated you treated an auto for an auto, but you're getting like five minions just focusing you for an extra second. Do you know I mean you're taking all these minion minion autos? And when you're when you're fighting in early in like level in waves like level one and level two, and the kill pressure isn't at that exact moment, it's often not good to auto. Or you can tell when it's good to auto by you're not going to get minion aggro. So autoing early is good. You obviously want to auto, but not in the middle of a wave if it's just going for a really short trade. The second problem with this is that you obviously got first blood bot side, so uh, you might have you might have been caught off guard here. But because you got first blood, you're gonna get level two of the first six minions. So the thing that the problem here is that the minion this minion is about to die. You should be up here. You should be in his face. Because he's not gonna he's probably not gonna expect level two, right? The problem here is that you're getting level two, and now you're nowhere near engaged level. Now you're nowhere near where you should be. You should be you should be fighting him at the end of level one. And so that as the minion dies, you're on him at level 2. But now you're just in the wrong position. And for some reason, he's tanking this wave. So Shen's also misplaying this. Shen should... Okay. Shen should not be walking up here level 1. But that's that's Shen's fault. You should have made that happen earlier, is what I'm saying. Like, 5, ten sec five seconds earlier. Yeah, good. You're getting the autos in when fighting. Important for your conqueror stacks. Okay. Also, we're lucky to get the kill here because because if Shen doesn't turn around to auto you, you don't get the kill. Like Shen. <laughs> Yeah, I think in that scenario you've got he's got you've got his flash, probably just push the wave. Um Push the wave and reset, because you went one for one, but now you're missing minions and he's just gonna teleport back. If you go one for one if you just go flash for flash or whatever, this huge wave crashes into his tower and you just go base, then you're gonna have how much gold? A thousand three hundred gold. Eight eight hundred gold you've got, sorry. You pretty much just Go base, you get a blasting wand, or you get boots and amp phone, and you come back to the lane. He's had no chance to base yet, so he's still sitting here with 100 HP trying to get these minions, or the waves maybe came back a little bit. And you're full HP with 800 gold spent. So now you've got humongous lane pressure. So instead of going one for one, you're able to keep your huge lane pressure and, and come back with like all the power in the lane, basically. Because he's been stuck under tower farming these minions. Well, if you you've had you've had time to reset and spend all your gold. Okay, so we're now in lane with Aether Wisp. I said not the best buy in the world, but we're here now. Um, we've got three CS. Obviously, not ideal, but the plan now in this lane is you have the item advantage. You have two pots. Um, you basically level down the next peak because you've not got, you've not got this next wave yet. But essentially, you're the stronger you're the stronger top laner right now. You should want to try and let his top wave push into you because you know he's got no flash, he's got no teleport. Um, the way because this wave crashed into your tower previously, this next wave is going to start pushing back to you. So you ideally want to let him push in so that he's around here. And then you've got all the all the all in pressure as well. Your cane's top side. If your wave starts crashing into your tower, um, Shen's either gonna have to walk up to get the last hits here, and risk you going on him, cane coming and ganking, um, or just lose XP or and like fall further behind. You know what I mean? That's just fine though. Like just last hitting. You don't want a hard shove. Although you're still level 2. You're probably behind the next peak. So now you're in lane with the wave, but see what I mean? Because Even though you had the early lead, because this wave wasn't fully killed when you dove, you're now behind the next B. 
and you and you lose a lot of your kill pressure. I mean, granted, you've still got you've still got the cannon to kill, but you're like a full level down. See what I mean? Freaking Shen just does dumb, stupid damage. I'll give you that. <laughs> He's doing a good job of last hitting now. Kane's top, so we want to try and go in. Uh, yeah, okay, nice. Yeah. So the thing about when your jungler's coming to gank top, First of all, you should be going in about now. You should be going in right now. That's when Kane's arriving. Because you're not, because you're not see here, you should have went in here. And Kane can walk up, but he walks back the way. See, that's an extra like 2-3 seconds. Second problem is starting W when Shen's coming. Uh, when Shen's getting ganked, sorry. You've got more move speed than Shen. And Shen has no flash. You want to try and walk on top of Shen. And then after he uses, uses taunt, use your W, usually. Because your W has got a cast animation, um, and also getting the perfect W is quite hard. So if he sees you casting W, he's just going to taunt straight away. And at that, at that point you've got no, you've got no, um, no W for it, like, to use on him. And we just lose, and see, because we took, See, because we took an extra, like, five seconds to go in here. Diana's able to walk up from the river. Imagine, imagine Diana was three seconds later. Like, one. She comes in now. One. Two. Three. You know, I mean, you'd probably have killed, probably have killed Shen, or at least got close to killing Shen. But because you took so long going in at the start, Diana was able to join as well. I mean, that's just being aware of where your cane is. Like, you want to try and go in straight away. In general, when you're getting ganked, if you want to, you want to just go in straight away. You don't want to waste your jungler's time, because for all we know, they had some random ward here. They had some stupid thing here. They've seen Kane, and if they've got time to react to Kane, it means they they can counteract the gank, right, or counter the gank. Okay, and you've bought this time boots. Oh, you can't you can't see it because of my camera, but you've bought boots and a pink ward. Never. I'm, okay, this this may be bad advice, but I promise it's the right thing to do. Never buy a pink ward this early. It's pointless. You're wasting 75 gold. Um, and in reality, getting ganked on Singed right now is... Like, who cares? You can you can escape easy. The only way you die 1v2 is if you, you're, you're going in. Pink wards, don't get them until you've, had, until you've completed your first item, at least. We're just last hitting, that's good. I like that, because now we know we can push this next wave. Okay, so you've shoved the wave, you're now going around for the proxy, this is good. At this point, Shen is pretty much impossible to 1v1, right? So proxying is good. Okay, nice. Okay, nice ward, I do the same ward, ward the camp so you know where Diana is. Get another wave. Okay, it's important to notice now that Shen is level 6. Level 6 and you proxying is great because it means if he ults away, he's going to miss a full wave top lane, right? Um, The thing that we need to be aware of is that if we're proxying down here and Shen ults away, we're going to have a lot longer path to go and get plates. Um, I think it's fine for now, but just in future, if... um. If we're proxying, in general against Shen, you want to just proxy here. So that if he ults away, you can either cancel it with W, or let him go and take place. It's also why against Shen, I love taking Demolish from a secondary tree. Because Shen doesn't want to be in lane. Shen wants to be around the map, ulting away. But if you've got Demolish and he ults away, you pretty much just get free play. Okay, you're just killing the wave. That's just good. They've pinged her on their way. And you're out of there, easy, nice. Which is what we're buying here. I guess we're just going for for Shirelia's, yeah? Yeah, Shirelia's items, that's fine. 
see that again what i said earlier like you're going to really it's really it's a good item on singed in the right game but going at first against a team like this just means that you never have any kill pressure just now at all okay shen just ulted away so shen's here they're on rift they're on grub sorry you should be shoving this as hard as you can nice Shen is coming back up Okay, you want to be trying pushing this wave as fast as you can, so that's right. You know he's got no taunts, so you can go up and hit the minions. Okay. He does so much damage, right? Like. So, so again, what I've said, like, Aether Whisk, great item, but move speed against Shen, you really don't need move speed against Shen. Like, you're, you're two melee champions, you're going to be hitting each other with autos. Like, having an extra bit of move speed means nothing. You'd much rather have HP or, or, or damage. Okay, we're going base with 800 gold. And finishing Shirelias, okay. Okay, we'll wave like this. So you've just came to lane, right? You've got two cannon waves sitting in the middle, but they've been fighting for a wee while, so there's like half the wave left. At this point, you do not want to shove the wave. Because if you look at the next wave, it's already here. Meaning if you get to this wave just before Shen and shove it, your next wave is going to be sitting right here. If your wave's sitting right here, it's so hard to shove the next wave. So I'll show you, let's see what happens, right? You've got you've got to this wave late, you've shoved it. Okay, because the Shen's bad, that's fine. But in general, because this, we've met this wave late, you just want to last hit it. And that means the next wave's going to come up further to, to be hit as well. Because you, it was too late to shove the, to the, to the wave already. And because you've got Shirelias, you now win no trades. But like you've just got no HP. Okay, Kane's top. Okay, the flash. Again, engaging with W is kind of hard against Shen because, like this, if your W isn't amazing, and he taunts away, then you've just got no way of getting on him, right? So what, what you want to do is... Um, if you see see if you see Kane coming, coming topside, you want to start fighting now. Because you want Shen to fight you before he realises that Kane is going to be here. Because your fight is going to last like... 10-15 seconds, right? It's not like a 2 second fight. You want to start fighting before Kane gets here. So when he's thinking he's going to beat you, he goes, shit, Kane's here as well. You know what I mean? But by now you're still all the way back here and Kane's pretty much ready to gank. You should be you should be in his face fighting right now. And if you're in his face fighting when Kane arrives, it means you don't have to engage with W. You, have to, you can wait for him to taunt and then W, and then you can flip back once he's, once he's taunted. You know what I mean? Because right now you're so far back when Kane's here. You have to flash, and you still get taunt, see? I think in general, this like, with level, the level 2 and like with the ganks, just try and be more on top of them, and when you see a play coming, you want to do it a few seconds before what you're doing just now. Okay, and you're pathing... The meds, okay. Okay, so you're back, in, you're shoving the wave. Again, you should be up here, you should be up here making sure you just... Push this cannon as fast as possible. Now you're missing the cannon. If you're able to push that, push that cannon fast, you could have come around, around and proxied. So if we go back and look. Okay, you should you should just come up and just come up and keep hitting this. You just want to keep hitting this minion and push it as fast as you can. Even if Diana comes, I don't think they can kill you. You've got all you've got um mercs. Um I mean, she went mid here, but they've got a big wave, and you just want to shove that as fast as you can and go down to river. Because right now you've got no 1v1 pressure at all. You've got Shirelias and Mercs. Like, you've got AP, Mercs, and no HP. Leandri's here, you'd have some kill pressure, but not with this. Do you know what I mean? Leandri's right, Leandri's right now gives you so much damage, but it's Shirelias... 
You don't need gap close. You don't need speed. You and Shen are just hitting each other. There's no need for any of that. All you want is HP and damage. Okay. Zoned off three minions. Like, it's at the point now you just want to try and proxy, right? You don't want to try and stay in lane because you're just going to get zoned off stuff like this. And we missed a Shen out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously you want to keep an eye on Shane when he's got his all up so you can cancel stuff like that. Or at least have the option. You want to shove this wave as fast as you can. And even here, remember I said having Demolish? So nice. Having a secondary tree against Shen of Demolish is so, so, so nice. Okay, shove the wave. It's fine. I mean, in this scenario here, right? If we go back. You're going for the next wave, and Shen's coming up. You want to path up here a bit, but you just want to keep. You want to stay here. You, there's no point going up here. I know, obviously, you take tower aggro. That was a mistake. But Shen's not going to kill you. It's a Shen, right? You want to just go up here and then flip him away or whatever, path back down, or path away this way. If Shen fights you for too long, he's going to miss more minions. So I did. I did just came up here, messed with Shen, with Shen a wee bit, came down, went this way. Him chasing you here is fine. Or for an extra few seconds, it's fine. But look, right, Shvelius here does nothing. Get no damage at all. Oh, what's your drinks? <laughs> and die. Let me tell you, Shen's playing a lot of this really, really poorly. I think you could capitalize on it a lot more as well if um, you had the right items. And in this scenario here, right, let's go back. You have your W and your E. You want to maximize your W as much as possible. And look at Shen here, right? He's in the middle of your W. He's in the middle of your W. There's no point flipping Shen right now. He's stuck anyway. If you flip him right now, you flipped him out of your goo. You should you should know how long your goo ga your goo lasts, right? So when your goo is about to die off, at that point you can flip. Or if he's about to go off the goo, you flip. Right now you could have had him stuck here for an extra like a second or two, and then flipped him, and that means he's been stuck for under tower for a lot longer. Do you know what I mean? So you're getting you're getting nice autos in, and you're getting you're getting your conqueror stacks up nice. It's just that your item choice here is so bad for 1v1s. If you're looking for 1v1s, you don't want to go Shirelias. Everyone's just starting to lose now when they get in the map. Okay, so now two levels down. A lot weaker. Ben's messing with Kane. Okay, so Dragon's up soon, so your team's ready to try and ping down bot side. Kane's inting though. You and Fez are coming. I mean, you actually do win this. Diana's top side, so is Shen. Obviously Shen is all, but... They're playing this really badly. Oh no. I'm guessing that's just a misclick on the Shen, right? You didn't have ult. With, with no ult, um, you're obviously super, super squishy. I think analysing after this, there's not much point, right? Because the team's just so far behind. Yeah. But in general, I think you've... Obviously, Samuel, I think you've played Singed. Like, you're, you can tell you know you're Singed, right? I think I just like, a few things, like... Managing the waves and, like, known level up timers and um, itemization. Just so, so many little things that would change that would really make, like, like make your game a lot better. Um, for example, this game you've obviously been given an early lead. You've been given Violet. You've been given your first blood, um, and you've got an okay matchup. But you didn't use your first blood advantage at all. You didn't go for it. You didn't base, and you didn't buy an didn't buy the correct item to to snowball. But yeah, look, unlucky game for Samuel. I think Kane still was there to one v nine. This one wasn't quite. But I mean. Like, Sam, you obviously know what you're doing with Singed. I think it's just these small things you need to iron out. 
Um, and then you're good. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I'm still don't know what I'm doing with this whole coaching thing. Samuel, if I was too insulting, I'm sorry, but listen, man, you did great. Uh, and good luck with your climb. And yeah, I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you. <laughs>